Welcome to the Motivational Institute, where passion and purpose will always find you. My name is Stacey Burrell, and thank you so much for tuning in today. So we are continuing with my top five philosophies on what, how to level up in life. Guess what? We are down to the wire. Number one, write this one down. Run your race. So where do I get that tagline from? I use it in my email. Individuals have heard me say this when I'm speaking to groups to run your race in life. And this is where I got it from. I was at church one day, Victory Missionary Baptist Church two years ago. My pastor, he's passed on now, Dr. Robert E. Fowler Sr. was doctor, yeah, I said doctor, um, was preaching the sermon. And the title of the sermon was Run Your Race. I looked for the sermon. I could not find it because I wanted to take his exact words and kind of give it to you. But I'm going to tell you what I've adopted kind of as my philosophy when it comes to focusing on the life that we have right in front of us and how do we really maximize it. So here we go. I want you to write these five points down. And the first one is we have to operate in faith, not in fear. Operate in faith and a form of belief, not in fear. Because when we operate in fear, fear is basically just anxiety. And there was a really good quote that I heard earlier today where it basically said, anxiety is worrying about a future outcome that you don't even want. It's focusing on a future outcome that is undesirable. It's something that you don't even want, something you want to avoid right? We're putting our attention there and it's causing us some discourse. It's causing us some worry, right? We want to get rid of that because what we need to do is operate under a system of belief and trust. Trust in God, trust in yourself, trust in the, the everything that's around you to really support you. The second one is you want to focus on yourself, so when you're running a race, I was watching Usain Bolt, who is the fastest man alive, and I'm looking at his face when he gets ready to run this race and just looking into his eyes. And I'm like, oh, yeah, he already knows he's about to win. I can see it. Right. He's already there. He's already at the finish line before he even starts. And that's what I want us to do. Focus on you. Focus on the outcome. Focus on the goal and what's on the other side. There might be people in the stands. There may be people behind you. There may be people next to you. Don't worry about any of that. Because anytime we give our attention there or back here, we have not lost, we have lost ground, right? We're further behind than where we need to be. You're going to get to that goal a lot faster when you focus on what you're doing. Don't worry about what everyone else is doing, what everybody else is saying about what you're doing, right? Make a decision, talk to God about it, and then go after it. That's my motto. All right, next one, be grateful. One of the things that I do every morning, and I got this from Oprah Winfrey, is she said, you know what? When I get in, up in the morning, as soon as my feet hit the ground, my hands touch the sky, and I look up, and I just say thank you. Two words, thank you. Maybe you do more than that. Maybe you go into prayer. Maybe you go into meditation. Cool. But I know for me, it was simple for me to to take on a new behavior of like looking up to God and acknowledging him every single morning. Do that. Be grateful in everything that's around you. Be grateful for the car that you drive, the house that you're in, even if you don't like it, the car that you, even if you don't, you know, like it, I don't know, it's raggedy, whatever it is, is getting you from A to B, appreciate it. The relationship that you're in, it's not the best relationship, if it's toxic, get out of it. But if it's you and you need to be better, then do what you need to do to develop yourself, right? So you can have better relationships with people, whatever it is. But focus on what's in front of you. Be grateful for it and look for God in every situation, even the situation that you're in right now, right? Let's not wait to look for God in the situation that we want it to be, like something we're desiring it to be. God is right here with us right now, wherever we're at. And he's just as close to us now as he will be later on as he has been back in, in the past. He's right there with us. So keep continuing to keep your eyes on him. But be grateful. Say thank you for your arms, for your eyes, for your heart, for your health, all those things. And the last one here. Oh, wait, no, there's two more. Second to last. Work hard. Work hard. I was listening to Will Smith and I love Will Smith. 
And um, over time, he basically said, people thought I was super talented. And he said, I don't necessarily see myself as very talented. You know, I have talent, but it's not natural talent. He said, where I separate myself from others is that I'm going to outwork you, right? He said, if you and me get on a treadmill, either you're getting off first or I'm going to die on the treadmill. He said, it's basically just that simple. So what that means to me is that you got to put in everything that you have, right? Every part of you, dedicate yourself, read, study, work out, whatever it is that you want to do to become better at something, put the effort in. It's going to be hard. It's going to be uncomfortable in the beginning because that's just your body like fighting you on the physiology. But once you change your habits, you now can change change your operating system, which means eventually over time, it's going to get easy for you. I promise you that. And here's the last one. And I, this one is near and dear to my heart. Be humble. Be humble. One of my favorite quotes actually starts off as a question. And the question is, why is the ocean king of a thousand streams? Why is the ocean king of a thousand streams? And the answer is because it lies beneath them. Humility gives it its power. That's deep. Humility gives it its power. So before I go into a training, before I go into the jail, before I go into any corporate buildings, whatever work I'm doing, I tell, I ask God to humble me every single day. And he answers and he does it every single day. I say, God, take away the pride, take away the ego, take away any of these things that's separating me from what it is that you have for me on the other side, separating me from the person that you designed for me to be, separating me from my blessings. So I want to stay humble. I pray that all of you do the same in everything that you do, in your relationships, in your profession, in your career, in your health, whatever those kinds of things is. Carry that spirit of humility. All right. Well, that's it, family. That is my top five philosophies on how to level up in life. This is Stacey Burrell, founder of the Motivational Institute, where passion and purpose will always find you. And remember, don't stop, don't quit, and don't give up. God bless.